What it is, my Tino, Peace and Grease here, and um, today we're going to talk a little bit about the last dev stream. I watched it again, kind of let everything marinate a bit, and before I gave my thoughts here in video form. Uh, so before we dive straight into it, let's talk about the good things that came from this dev stream. Dev stream. The most important one uh, being, in my at least in my opinion, the rework for Railjack. Yes, thank you. DE. They've recognized there's a problem with the core design of Railjack and they want to do a big kind of update fix for it prior to us getting the next Railjack expansion. And I gotta say I appreciate DE for being willing to put in all of that extra work. And it's going to be a significant amount of work, but in my opinion it was absolutely required. And the fact that DE recognized that, kudos to DE. Thank you very much. Um, the next thing is we're getting a Zephyr Deluxe skin. Now, uh, hopefully DE, uh, along with giving us this Deluxe skin, will also give us some tweaks to Zephyr. Um, unfortunately, even though they did kind of give us a slight rework on Zephyr, uh, I still don't think Zephyr's in a very great spot right now. Uh, but it's possible we just get the skin. The other issue here is that I'm not really a big fan of the deluxe skin for Zephyr. Uh, I don't know if it was a rendering or if it just wasn't done yet. I'm not sure what the issue is, but it just didn't look that good to me. I'm not taking pot shots and any of the designers there at DE. Love all you guys and gals there, but yeah, I just wasn't thrilled with it. But that's not a big deal. It's not the first time I haven't liked the deluxe skin. It probably won't be the last time. Deluxe skins are very selective, right? It's all personal preference. So just because I don't like it doesn't mean that everyone else will, you know, won't like it. With all of that said, um, I'm going to keep an open mind. Wait till we get the Zephyr Deluxe skin in the market. Take a really good look at it. Who knows? I may end up loving it by the time it's all said and done. Hard to say. Um, next thing. Let's talk a little bit about the elephant in the room. And that is, the question was asked about the divide that exists between primaries and secondaries and melee. And sadly, the the first comment after that question was changes to melee. Yeah, there was a community-wide collective groan <laughs> when that when that comment was made. Uh, the reason for it ultimately is because this idea of changing or nerfing something else to give the appearance that something else is somehow magically improved it yeah it just doesn't work there's not a single player out there that said yes primaries and secondaries are going to get better with the changes to melee nobody said that it's because it's been done numerous times in the past and we all kind of know the score by now with that said i'm not trying to chastise de for new ideas because ultimately that's where the next great idea comes from is by trial and error throw it against the wall see what sticks and what doesn't so Unfortunately, though, I got to say that for me, the very first change I would do, I, I would have done this very simply. All those mods that most players commonly used on their primary and secondary builds, right? Hornet Strike, Serration, uh, Heavy Cal, um, these types of mods. Jack those up. Jack those numbers up. That's going to help close that divide a little bit um, between primaries and secondaries and melee. Unfortunately, the idea that they're throwing around right now is this whole switching type of gameplay. And the idea is you do damage with your primary, so then you switch to your secondary because you can now do damage with it. And then, of course, you, you switch back to your secondary and so on and so forth because now it does more damage. Yeah. The problem with this idea is that it's been tried before. Right, It's been tried with an arcane, this switching kind of gameplay. And they've tried it with mods. There are mods out there that allow you to switch very quickly between your weapons. People just don't use them. They even have weapons based on this switching type of gameplay. Take, for example, the Ferox, right? the Javlock, the Scourge. These weapons are predicated on that idea of, oh, well, you do damage by throwing this weapon out there and switching to another weapon. The problem is they don't work. That game, that gameplay style has not caught on. And there's a reason for it. It's because of the very design of Warframe itself. Warframe is very fast-paced. The movement is very fluid. So, 
this switchy switchy dippy do idea doesn't work because it's actually opposed to the kind of core design of Warframe itself as far as its movement goes. Now, in a game like Destiny, where the movement's more slower paced, a switchy dippy do idea would work great. But the movement in Destiny and Warframe are entirely different. So that's why it's not going to work in Warframe. That's why people aren't going to flock. That's why people haven't flocked to it now. Take, for example, the Ferox here. The Ferox is a primary, and basically what you do is you throw it out there. And what it does is it forces you to switch weapons because you no longer have a primary. And it sends out this pulse that draws enemies in. The problem I have with it is it doesn't draw in enemies fast enough. And, of course, I'm throwing away my flipping primary, which feels wrong. It feels like I'm getting rid of a weapon in my arsenal. And, of course, this whole switching idea takes, in my opinion, it takes more time than just slaughtering everything with your melee, right? Or slaughtering everything with your primary. It, it takes longer than just doing that. Or, it takes longer to do all the switchy dippy do stuff than it, d it does just to kill everything in the room with your Warframe abilities. So that's the Ferox, and they tried again with the Javlock. I, I suppose it was the other way around. It was the Javlock first, but we're going to go alphabetical. So with the Javlock, it's the same kind of idea in that you throw your primary away, and it creates a, a blast in the area. Enemy, any enemies left alive are set on fire. Again, you're throwing away your primary, and of course it relies on this switchy dippy doo type of gameplay. And then, of course, finally, we have the Scourge. Uh, let's see, there it is. And the Scourge works very similarly. Again, you throw out your primary. And what it does is it creates bullet magnets around enemies' heads, little rings, and then you shoot towards the enemies' heads. And if you're close enough, it pulls the, the rounds into the enemy's head. So that's kind of the basic idea. Again, it works on this switchy dippy do type of gameplay. So, you could, if you really wanted to, you could go through and do the switchy dippy do kind of gameplay if you wanted to. You certainly could do that. Or, maybe instead, you just kill everything in the fucking room. Now, this is far more efficient and takes far less time than this switchy dippy do kind of gameplay. Again, DE's tried this numerous times, right? With this whole, here's an arcane that lets you switch weapons very quickly. Here's some mods that let you switch weapons very quickly. Here's some weapons that rely on that switching weapons very quickly. No, and if, listen, and if somebody out there does love that switchy dippy do kind of gameplay, that's the beauty of Warframe. You get to choose the, the playstyle you prefer. And I'm not saying that there's zero people out there using this. I'm sure there are some players, a very small minority of player community out there, that actually uses this playstyle. But again, it's kind of opposed to that, that core design of Warframe. We all know the MO for a mission, right? You spawn into the mission, you get to the objective as fast as possible, and you get to extraction as fast as possible. This idea of, oh, hold on, guys, I just did damage with my melee, so my, my primary now does more damage, so hold on, don't kill anything. Oh, oh, wait a minute, guys, I just killed some stuff with my primary, now my secondary does more damage, so don't kill anything. You know, <laughs> this idea, it's, it's, it, ultimately, it just kind of falls short. Because it's going to boil down to just killing everything in the room as fast as possible. And this switchy dippy do stuff, just it just doesn't work. Again, to reiterate, I don't, I'm not trying to chastise DE for trying new ideas. That's where those great ideas are going to come from. But unfortunately, this switching type of gameplay, it's been tried before. And it hasn't stuck. So, I think it's time to kind of try something else. Because unfortunately... I just don't believe that this is going to work at all. I mean, I know I can tell you for a fact I'm not going to use it. I've never used the Arcane. I don't use the Maz. And I don't use these primary weapons I'm showing here because they rely on this switching type of gameplay. And I don't like it. I feel it's inefficient. I feel it takes more time. And I have no interest in it.
So hopefully DE can come up with a better idea. I'm sure they can. I have faith in them to be able to do so. But as it stands now, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts and opinions on the last step stream. Let me know what you guys and gals think down in the comments below. I respond to everybody that does. And until next time, peace out.